Hello and welcome to Average Emphasis Beer Reviewing. My name is Omanator and this one right here is my co-host, Pain Tree. There you go. Today we have a Danish beer on the table. Uh, yeah, Willemus Ale. It's been a long time since we had an ale on, an ale on here. Mm, and we've had some good uh, experiences with this uh, brewery generally. Because uh, yeah, last time we... Except they're really cheap stuff because, oh, okay, yeah. you know... Oh god, yeah. Um, yeah, that's not even that brewery. That doesn't exist. That beer doesn't exist. Um, <laughs> uh, because last time we uh, uh, drank some of uh, this, the stuff from this brewery, we ended up forging four minutes of metal. And that is good. Yes, that is very good indeed. And it was a great time. All right, so yeah, let's let's button up the ale. It's uh, 5.2 percent alcohol. A nice looking. Well, gem. Nice enough. Oh fuck the foam. Good thing I have a glass table. I would be scared if it was made up from wood or something. But the charm of a wooden table is the beer stains. It's in the beer stains. No, there is no charm in a wooden table because it just. Okay, yeah. It's a bunch of crap. It's a bunch of shit. All right. So there you go. There's the beer. I'm just gonna get fetch me some uh, toilet paper. Right. I have some right here. Don't worry. <laughs> Why might that be, gentlemen? He made that joke last time as well. I, I failed to laugh at it because it's so overused. Look at this, I have almost okay. nothing left. <laughs> That's the, I asked that I, question I, I because in my case it's <laughs> uh. <laughs> I can't take this too- I can't- the, the, the beer opener was like <laughs> floating around in a soup of beer. Oh. Yeah, okay, just want to temporarily stop it. Just <laughs> so we don't get the flood. <laughs> the flood. Hello. Okay, first things first, I fucking love this color. Yes, me too. It is very, very beautiful. Kind of an amber thing going on. Very nice. How does it smell? Good. Oh, yes. That smells like a very basic but very solid beer. Beery beer. Mm. And there's some chocolate. It's uh, a little sweet. Chocolate and tobacco to it, too. A little bit of, of a hint, yeah. Some very strong tobacco, but like... Pipe tobacco, little, yeah. Yeah, but only a slight bit, yeah? And it smells sweet. Right, okay, one good mm. taste. Well, that was different than I expected, but but it's actually oof. <laughs> it's quite good. Yes, I uh, I enjoy this. I think it tastes good. I think it tastes very good. It's actually. very sweet. Very sweet. It is very sweet. But it, um, but fuck if it doesn't do it well. I wouldn't even say it's easily drinkable because of that though, because the mm. alcohol. I don't know. There's not that much alcohol in it, but it kind of shines through in some yeah, kind of way. Yeah, and it's um and it's again. It's not exactly earthy, but it's still not something that's uh, that's for everyone. No, because it has no. a very specific flavor. It, it very much does. It's kind of a deep, uh, mm. deep thing going on. Mm. But for people who are used to beer, it's easy drinking. Mm, mm, indeed, it's kind of, it has kind of a focused taste. It's yeah, kind of it's like smooth. A focus in the, yeah, yeah it's and smooth. it's smooth. It's really smooth, big focused. It goes down easily, too easily, I think. If you have a lot of bottles of this, no, that's the fun part. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, but if you're trying to look professional in front of the camera, then that's the bad part. Good thing we only have one of these, then. Mm. I can't. I can't believe I just said it's a good thing we have less beer. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't really. That doesn't really fit with my logic. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I like this. This is. This is nice. Mm. What, uh, what are you, do you have any rating yet? Anything else to discuss? Oh, there's E numbers in it, which is... Uh, well, fuck that. Um, 87. 87? Wow, that is quite generous. Yes, yes, I love this. You really like this beer? Yes. Okay, I think we found... Have you ever given a beer more than this, than 87? Uh, we gave the Latvian beer. I think the Latvian beer, I gave it 90. That's right, yes, the Latvian Because that was just good. so fucking good. That was a very um, good beer. I think the time has, um, is coming for me in spring or something where I'll be able to go to Latvia, so if I uh, pay for um, baggage, then I can um, uh, fit in, let's see... Uh, I can fit in at least 30 cans. Yes! <laughs> Bring some more stuff, though, yeah. some more varied stuff as well, so we can get you know, a bunch of different Latvian stuff. Under. I'll bring a fucking arsenal. It oh, would... yeah. Gotta taste some of that stuff. Is it bad that the last time I am um, I was getting drunk kinda was at <laughs> was at the pen and paper opening session? 
No. Why would that be bad? That's nice. You, you gotta get drunk when you're role playing with your friends, man. Because that's, that's the, the only thing that would ever make role playing worth it for you. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Mm. Because um, it's mostly we don't drink usually uh, there, but uh, we have one guy who we call either our little alcoholic or the drunken master, who has to have a few. Sh <laughs> who has to have he a few to bites. Them. Um, it it very much helps with this role playing. <laughs> okay, he actually gets better at role playing by drinking. Yes, uh, because um, it makes him say stuff easier, come out and say stuff easier. That's a good point, because that's a, that's the, one of the biggest parts of role playing, you know, just hmm. saying a bunch of weird crap because it, it's got to be fun, you know. Yeah, he he's a pretty shy guy normally, so when he uh, gets a. F Oh yeah, and he's a poof too. <laughs> he's a what? Uh, and, and I mean in the, that in the friendliest possible manner, because he would endorse that. He would call himself a poof too. Poof as in, I don't know that expression. As in, so flamingly homosexual it's a wonder his clothes don't catch, fi uh, catch fire. Oh. He drinks Somersby, uh, oh. blackberry flavored, and Mokai. Oh no, <laughs> oh no! I mean, Somersby, that's like... Yeah, that's, that's pretty gay, but you know, when you say Mokai, it's like... He has this, um, I mean, really, really tight blue uh, uh, sky blue t or blue tank top, <laughs> oh, no. button uh, buttoned to the solar plexus. Just, just say tank top. That's it. You don't need to say any more. <laughs> it doesn't get worse than that. Blue, <laughs> like a baby blue tank top. And I'm um, a little darker. Still, it's just. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's the kind of color you use for a website, not a fucking tank top, okay? The guy aims for being so gay as it's uh, as humanly okay, possible. Okay, it's, it's, it's his goal to seem as gay as possible. Yes, because he is as gay as possible. So okay, he's, um, to that. I think he might just be the embodiment of out and proud, and I really respect the guy for it. Yeah, I, I can see that. You know, that's, that's nice that you know people can come out, not only come out, but also really embrace their yeah. sexuality in some kind of really disturbing way. Yeah, <laughs> and not caring. Yeah, and not caring that they creep the hell out of people. Cause I really respect that. I, re I really do. That's that's nice. He might just be the gayest person on the planet, but he might also just be one of the nicest, so hey. Mm. Gay people have a tendency to be nice mm. in my personal experience. I mean, it's uh, It's got something to do with um, their subculture that you... Mm, or, mm, that to to be uh, openly gay, you also have to be honest. That's a part yeah. of it. You yeah. have to be honest with yourself because else you'd never get into admitting it. Obviously, and honest with others as well. Mm. It, it kind of, yeah, it kind of spirals into the whole good guy thing. So I think that's why a lot of girls are like, man, all, all the all the good guys are gay. I mean, first of all, they can go fuck themselves, but that's another story for another time. Yes. Well, um, I would be lying if I said I wouldn't appreciate uh, seeing tidbits, but uh, for um, I mean. Uh, place uh, uh, um, themselves with, what each, you, what you with uh, like, each other and I will be a very happy man. In fact, I will be happiness. That is something I regularly become. <laughs> happiness. Uh, <clears throat> yes, back to normal. I have been scarred. <laughs> and, I, and I don't even know what that was. Out of my fantasizing mode. I, uh, I drop into that once in a while, especially when watching some rather let's just say anime that looks like it was meant for little girls but is in fact meant for people like me yeah I've seen that kind of stuff I fold <laughs> you just plain give up yeah I, I'm hopeless. not gonna be part of that man <laughs> just, I'm out can't you see it's beautiful I just like my beer. <laughs> you don't want to be I just involved. want a beer and I'm happy, right? Just, just leave me out of the that that stuff. That part of the world. <laughs> that part. Hmm. All right. Oh, look at that. We finish a relatively similar time. That was a really well timed bird. All right. Right, we finished the Villemos. I haven't even given it a rating. Why? How could I do this? You gave it. You gave it an 87, right? Yep. I will give it an 82. Yeah, it's still a fucking good. I really beer. like this beer. It's a very solid. It has a nice, has a good taste beneath it. Kind of a little bit of a, a little bit of that tobacco, a little bit of the licorice too, and then it's it's nice and sweet. Goes down easy, but still has a nice focus taste. That's pretty much all I can say about that. All right, we're we just gonna wrap it up here. Yep. Okay. Thank you for watching Average Emphasis Beer Reviewing. I am Omanator and this is Paintree. 
And this was our rear review, yes? Good. Bye. I don't, I don't know what he said. <laughs>